Hey everyone, uh, we're back at it again today. I have uh, another jig I wanted to show you guys. Um, I also want to say thank you for um, all the support and uh, all the well wishes. I really, really appreciate it. Um, it's truly humbling and um, it does mean a lot to me. So thank you very much. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. So let's get on with this. Uh, we're going to do another version of my flash craw, but this is going to be in the Pro Ball smallmouth jig. As you can see, this is a quarter ounce um, round head with eye sockets. That's the name of the mold. Um, I know some people, it, it, it's getting hard to get now a lot of this stuff, and I apologize for that. But we got a quarter ounce. Uh, round head with eye sockets. The color is uh, copper head. It has a little bit of a uh, glitter in it, so it has a different look. Uh, you see we cut a groove right in the collar there. That's to help our material flare a little bit more. And I took this barb off because we're not going to need it. Uh, it's got a 2-aught owner 5313. Uh, my favorite hook, which a lot of people know. And we're going to get started with some brown 210 denier flat wax nylon, as always. You don't got to put a lot in here, just a couple of turns. And then I'm going to bring it down to that spot where I cut the barb off. Make a couple more wraps there and bring it right up to the bottom of the collar. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our trailer. Get some of the hair off of there. And this is going to be a rust rabbit strip. Real easy. And I'm going to take it and tie it in right there. Now, before I do anything else, Give it another wrap. I'm going to take it out of the vise and see where we got to go with it. Pop it through and back in the vise. It would help if I could see. Okay, now we're good. I'm going to tie it down just a little bit further, and you'll see why. Now we're going to take this. This is variegated tinsel chenille, uh, brown and black. I really like this. Uh, it has that variegated look, but it also has a little bit of flash to it. And that's the idea of this. Um, that's the idea of this thing is the flash craw. We're using natural colors, but we have little elements of flash in it without getting overboard. That's why I don't add any um I don't add any extra flash because the skirt material, the paint, and the chenille has just enough to give it that little extra. I'm gonna tighten everything down here. Now I'm gonna wrap this chenille and it's going to go right up to that collar and tie it off and that's going to help our skirt material as well flare out this is real easy but it's a really good jig, and you can make this weedless. Now, this time, I'm not going to do it weedless. I'm not going to add the weed guard, but you can if you want. This is brown pepper uh, silicone. Real simple. Just throw it on there. You don't want to get real heavy with the thread right away. You just want to make, you know, one or two wraps, and then make sure you're distributed all the way around. doesn't have to be perfect. You just wanted to make sure you get it. Pull 
it down. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to take this pumpkin brown with the, the different color glitter in it. Looks like there's um it's either golden red or golden uh copper. Really nice stuff. Perfect for this this pattern. But the reason I wanted to do this is show you what that, that color looks like on a different style jig, how you could do it a little variance and change it up. You could take this pattern and essentially make, you know, three or four different uh, colors out of it. You know, ba the basic, same basic pattern, but um, all different, you know, some of them you have more glitter than others. Others are a little more plain. You could do a lot with it. And what's nice is it has that reflective quality and still natural. So you could use this in fairly clear water or, you know, uh, even like uh, moderately stained water. It shows up. Okay, that collar is pretty good. Now, I'm going to. Wrap this material up here. And we're going to clip it. And we're going to whip finish it. and six. Just got to make sure I don't trap any skirt material. And we'll do four more. One, two, three, four. Take our little clip off. Cut our thread. Gonna add some water based head cement. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our bodkin since the collar is real small here. And we'll use that to apply some head cement. pretty good now we're going to cut our skirt material what I like to do is just get it cut um, just to free the legs up. Just cut it that way and then afterwards, if you don't like the way it is, you want it a little bit more, uh, a little bit more flare, you could turn around and, and trim it up just a little bit. In this case, I'm gonna trim this bottom a little bit more. Just a little bit. And let's see what we have. In fact, I could probably trim this top a little bit more as well to get the look that I want, the amount of flare. The, the rule of thumb, the shorter you go, the more flare you're going to get. So I'll take about another quarter inch or so off of this. Maybe a half. Take a little bit more off the bottom too. See, that's what's what's neat about this. Um, 
you can customize it after you're done. You just want to free them legs up. And there it is. Built-in trailer. I get my handy dandy forceps here. And that's our Pro Ball smallmouth jig, built-in trailer in the flash craw pattern. Wait till you see this in the water. Like I said, I think uh, I think the beginning of July there's going to be a a sale at the pet store, and I'm going to get my new tank and everything set up. So uh, just be patient; it's coming. There you have it. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.